Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa, continuing to take a look at the Shadow Realm cars. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. Let's get to it. So we do have another SVT Mustang here or another Mustang in general. So we're here going to take a look at it today and rip it along with a few other cars, but we're actually on the Shadow Realm circuit. So I had to bring it here instead of on comp circuit. So we're gonna go full send. This guy's got a lot of camber. <laughs> camber getting strong with this car. So we're gonna go full send and see how this car reacts for initial. Initially, not too too bad. Seems like third gear is the uh, money gear with this one. And we're seem to get some nice fluid lines. I like this little uphill section though. Third gear seems to be the gear that this car likes the most right now. In the current gear configuration, that's a wall and a tire. So we did hit that tire. And probably that wall, you know, just Mustangs doing Mustang things. It's all fine. Kick ourselves back in. So overall, so far, I've liked a few of the cars that I've tried. And now we're testing out more cars today. It doesn't oscillate too, too crazy. I thought it was going to oscillate way more than that. So we're going to sing a third. So we can see the full look of the car. Overall, I've been thoroughly impressed with these Shadow Realm cars, and this circuit's pretty fun. It does have a comp layout that we're going to have to give a go here as well. Perf. I like the throttle and the, you know, response that this car does have, you know. A lot of V8 hate, but I do definitely love myself a good V8. It's just kind of throttle on command, power on command when you need it. No need to worry about, you know, turbo lag or anything like that. So overall, quite impressed with this uh, Mustang here. Oh, we're going to go the wrong way. Nope, we fixed it. So let's change up cars and see what the next car on the list is. Well, the next car is a flippy boy. Really loud rotary. This RX-7 looks sweet. I love the uh, Fawson uh, livery on this one. So we're going to go full send with the Flippy Boys up because if you don't Flippy Boy, what's the point? You love the clusters and everything on this car, the HKS steering wheel. It looks like third is going to be the gear for this car too here. Wow, this car skating. Definitely need to stay up in the high revs. Definitely need to uh, do a tune on this car if you want this car to fully work. Whoa, fully work. And fit quite well to a driving style. Rotary is definitely a very interesting car to drive. Oh, man. Yeah, you would definitely need to... Uh, do some serious tuning this thing. I feel I can't. Apparently, rotaries are not my thing. But I know a lot of people that can drive rotaries. So personally, not my favorite car. Love the livery though. Definitely gonna bang a good tune on this to make this car feel super good. But it does feel pretty good off the rip. Or bog there. I feel like I'm not in high enough RPMs. I should be. I just don't want to assault the red line like that. 
Let me know what you guys think on this car. Oh! Yep, we died. <laughs> so we're going to go check out the next car and see where we're at with another car here on the Shadow Realm pack. Next car up is another Flippy Boy. And a very solid car. Basic, you know, 240, 180SX. We did switch up to the comp layout. So apparently this layout is supposed to be adds up. That's really close. We definitely need to change that seating position. So that's one thing I am noticing. Some of these seating positions aren't like the greatest from the outgo, but you know, that's obviously set that how you want it to be. So that's not anything against the cars at all. So we're gonna go. So apparently it's added some clipping points and stuff. And oh yeah, it did. So it did add all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna go full send with this. Once we get the wheel cam turned back on for some reason. All right, we're just gonna go full send. Three, two, one. Inner clip. Another inner clip. Outer zone. A little grass drop there. And run it out that outer zone. Not sure where the zone is out there. Okay, so that's another outer zone. Probably want to run it nice and wide. Pull it in. Inner clip. A little touch and go. Another outer zone. And across the line. Okay, so that's actually a very uh, fun track. And I do like this 180 right now. So far, I think this probably has to be my favorite handling car of all so far. This is 180. So, of course, you know, we're going to check it in first. Now that we know the track. Have the inner clip. Inner clip. Got a little touch and go. A little bit of grass drop there again. Throwing ourselves into that outer zone. Other outer zone by the wall. On that cone line. Bring it in tight to an inner clip. Now we're out to a little quick touch and go. Transition out. There we go. Did not get as deep to that as I wanted to. I wonder if this track has good replay angles. Let's see if that is the case. Looks like it looks like it does. So we're gonna take a look at this run in the replay camera. See how this replay camera actually is. Initiate in. Inner zone. I don't think it's gonna no. Unfortunately, so the replay camera is not. Not the greatest. So we got a few more cards to take a look. Let's go check check it out. You all know my love for 350s and 370Zs. So of course we're going to use this 370, 370. So you guys all know my love for the 350Zs. I love the Hyper Yellow. I used to have an RC Drift car that was identical to this, um, minus all the stickers. But we're gonna finish off this episode with this Z. So let's go full send with it. All right, so we're gonna go full send in first person, and then we'll go third person. I see where we're at with the Z. There you click. Oh, we didn't get out. Oh my snap! All right, not expect that to happen. Did not expect that that snap out of this car. The gear ratios might be a little off. It's got to be the snappiest car that I've tried out of the pack. Which kind of caught me off guard with that. With that quick snap. So now we're gonna try it in third. You get the full uh, aspect of the car. Oof. 
as we almost popped it. So make sure to follow me on all social media, I'll try the description box below. Got a few exciting things coming here very shortly with my new comp cars and partnerships that I have for the comp car. So make sure to follow me on all social media, I'll try the description box below. One final run here in the Z. That hard flick though, this car can flick really hard. Yep. Jeez. That transition rate though. I still think the 180 so far is still my favorite car. The Z though, if you want quick, aggressive, snappy transitions, the Z is definitely uh, where you want to go. Quick, high angle transitions too. So that'll do it. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Ooh, third dig.